In this differential calculus lecture video, we will answer the sample problem presented in the lecture note under the topic Curves in Polar Coordinates. Now, the instruction, find the radius of curvature for the following curves in polar coordinates. Number one, the cardioid R is equal to A times 1 plus cosine theta at theta is equal to pi over 3. Now, in order for us to solve for the radius of curvature, we need the formula. And that formula is r is equal to r squared, the small r squared, plus first derivative of r squared, and then all of them raised to the power of 3 halves, all over r squared plus 2 times first derivative of r squared minus r times the second derivative of r. We also need to remember or to take note that the uh, <coughs> the a here will be constant and the theta is also constant. So let's now solve for the first derivative. For the first derivative, we have there <coughs> r prime is equal to a times the derivative of 1 plus cosine theta, so that is derivative of 1 is equal to 0, plus derivative of cosine theta is negative sine theta. Now, since we are doing a derivative of a product, we have here plus 1 plus cosine theta, then derivative of a, and knowing a is constant, so we have there 0. So, r prime is now equal to negative a sine theta. For the second derivative of r, we have the negative a. Derivative of sine theta is cosine theta plus sine theta. Then, the derivative of negative a is 0. So, cancel that. Therefore, r double prime is now equal to negative a cosine theta. Then, since we have the value for theta is equal to pi over 3, we might as well substitute theta is equal to pi over 3 in first derivative of r, which is negative e sine theta, or that is sine pi over 3. Now, when you're using your calculator, use or set it in radian mode. You need to remember use the radian mode in calculator. Okay. Then, if you input sine pi over 3 in your calculator, of course, if you input uh, a sine pi over 3, you won't get any answer. So, instead, input in your calculator sine pi over 3. 3 and the answer will be pi over 3 that is square root of 3 over 2 so we have here negative square root of 3 over 2 then you just uh, add a so that is your r prime now for r double prime we have their negative a cosine theta and theta is pi over 3 so, using your calculator, what is the value of cosine pi over 3? So, it's 1 half. So, since it is uh, negative here, so we will put in negative 1 half a. Or that is negative a over 2. Now, we're not done yet because in the formula, we were just able to find r prime and r double prime. We also need to find the value for the r. Now, having here the equation, the r, so we'll, we will just substitute the value for theta. So, r now is equal to a times 1 plus cosine theta, which is pi over 3. Now, a while ago, we were able to find out that cosine pi over 3 is 1 half. So, what is 1 plus 1 half? So, we have there 3 halves. 3 halves over 
uh, of 3 halves e. Now, finally, we were able to find the values for r, r prime, and r double prime. Let's now substitute it in the formula for r, or radius, that is equal to, from there, so r, small r squared, plus r prime squared, or raised to the power 3 halves, all over r squared plus 2 times r prime squared minus r times r double prime. Okay, so let's now substitute the values here for r. We have there 3 halves e squared plus r prime is negative is square root of 3 over 2 a squared and all of them raised to 3 halves divided by the r is 3 halves a squared plus 2 times r prime negative is square root of 3 over 2 oh, forgot e e squared minus the r 3 halves e times oops, r double prime is negative 1 half e so yes it's a big number so if we <coughs> solve them one by one so here we have 9 over 4 e squared which is 9 plus uh, what is uh, the square of 1 this automatically means 1 negative 1 there so what is this square of 1 on the square of negative so that is positive right positive and then this is 3 raised to 1 half so if you can observe there that is 3 1 half 2 raised to 2 and that is 3, 2 over 2, over 3, uh, over 2 squared. So the answer here is 3 fourth. That is positive 3 fourth <coughs> a squared is the power of 3 halves. All over. So this one here will be 9 over 4 a squared. Mm, plus 2 times so this becomes um, 3 4 also 3 4 a squared this will become positive positive 3 4 a squared So we have here equal to what is 9 plus 3, uh, that is 12 divided by 4. So 9 plus 3 is 12 divided by the denominator 4. So that is 3a squared raised to the power of 3 halves. Then in the denominator we have the same denominator here, all 4. So what is 9 plus 6 plus 3? So 9 plus 6 plus 3, that will be 18 over 4 a squared. Now what will happen in the numerator here? Now if you recall, if we have the square root of 3, that is 3, raised to one half meaning this is square root here is actually two so if we put here cube root this becomes cube root here so how about this one here and then this numerator is actually the power inside the square root or the cube root so what happens here is this is three a squared 
Oh, let's just write here. So this is actually 3a squared raised to 3. So using the same pattern as this one, this is now square root. Therefore, this becomes the square root of uh, 27. That is 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. A raised to 6. Okay. Now, what will happen there? Well, uh, we can see here that this is actually 9 times 3. Then this is... Uh, we can still divide this. Basically, this is this one here is six over two. So we can have there. Uh, we can already remove a as a raised to three. So therefore, this becomes three square root of three a raised to three. So we can write it here. This is now 3 square root of 3 a raised to 3. Since it is in the numerator, we have there all over 1. Since we are dividing a denominator, which is a fraction, so we will multiply it in its reciprocal 4 over 18 a squared. So the final answer here will be no, no, the A here, it might be mistake in foreign. So, originally, it is in the numerator, isn't it? So, we are putting it in the <coughs> denominator. So, using your calculator, what is now the value for R? R now is equal to 2 thirds square root of 3 raised to to the power of 1 <clears throat> because we cancelled here so 3 minus 2 so r is equal to 2 thirds square root of 3 a now you might be having a uh, <clears throat> well this one's scary of course because there's a lot of numbers here but if you're using your calculator if you were able to observe <clears throat> the uh, part here which you cannot input in the calculator so they're all raised to the power of 2 so this is a raised to 2 right and this is also a raised to 2 so what you can do in your calculator is input the numerical values and just leave or just uh, uh, don't put the a raised to 2 there no. So in your calculator, you can uh, input 3 halves raised to 2. Then negative plus negative is square root of 3 over 2 raised to 2. Then all of them raised to 3 halves. Then 3 halves raised to 2. 2 times... Yeah, negative square root of 3 over 2 raised to 2 minus 3 halves times negative 1 half so in your calculator you will be able to arrive the same answer <clears throat> and in that same answer you will only see this so you will just input or add the a so that's the shortcut if you have your calculator so that is for the sample number one <coughs> if for example number two we have there the uh, parabola r is equal to a as uh, a second squared theta over two at 4a over 3 pi over 3 so again we will uh, get the uh, first derivative of r 
for the first derivative of r, we have there a, then the derivative of second uh, squared theta over 2. This is actually similar with second theta over 2 squared, isn't it? So we can use uh, power formula here. So we're deriving. Might as well use bracket here. Okay. So we are deriving now. Bring down 2. So second theta over 2. Of course, that is 2 minus 1. Then the derivative of second theta over 2. So the derivative of second theta over 2 is second theta over 2 and then tangent theta over 2 and don't forget that we have the derivative of u which is theta over 2 derivative of u or derivative of theta over 2 is 1 half and again you will not multiply this in the angle but rather in the entire equation okay. and we are not done yet if this is derivative of a uh, product then we have their second square theta over 2 then derivative of a since a is constant so that is 0 so we can just uh, eliminate the second term so r prime now is equal to so multiplying this in the whole equation we cancel out 2 if we cancel out 2, what's left will be a. Uh, so there is 2 second here. And then tangent theta over 2. So that is the first derivative of r. Now, second derivative of r is we are going to use a uh, derivative of a product between this and this. Okay. Or we can just simply uh, leave a outside so we will just focus on the 2 second squared theta over 2 and then tangent theta over 2 okay for the first one we have the second squared theta over 2 derivative of tangent theta over 2 is that will be second squared theta over 2 plus we also have here we we copy a oh we forgot derivative of the u here derivative of the angle is one half plus a tangent theta over two what is derivative of second squared theta so let's just put it here so what is the derivative for second squared theta? That will be 2 second theta over 2, 2 minus 1. Derivative of second is second theta over 2, tangent theta over 2. Then derivative of the u for the angle is 1 half. So let's now simplify. So this becomes it is equal to one half a second raised to the fourth a theta over two plus so we can cancel out two here. So what's left is a second squared because there is two second here second squared theta over 2 and then tangent theta over 2 so i think that's the r double prime okay and then uh what's next will be having their value so let's substitute substitute of course we will remove theta substitute theta is equal to what so from this point here, now from this point, from this given, the uh, uh, first part here is actually the radius, and the second part is actually the theta. 
So, we will now use theta is equal to pi over 3. So, substitute again. Theta is equal to pi over 3. For the value of r, so the original equation, we have there a second squared. So, theta over 2. So, that this theta over 2 is the same with 1 half theta, right? So, take note that that's the same with 1 half theta because I will put here 1 half times pi over 3. That is for the first uh, value. What? So, using your calculator in region mode. So if you see the pi, use region mode in your calculator. Let's just use that as a reminder. Okay. So what is now, uh, if you input this in your calculator, it should be second of pi over 6. Of course, we multiply this already. Second, pi over 6 squared. Squared of second pi over 6. So, the value for r will be 4 third r is equal to 4 third of a. Next is the value for r prime. For our r prime, it is a second squared theta over 2, so 1 half times pi over 3. And then we have the tangent multiplied to tangent of 1 half times pi over 3. So using your calculator, what will be the value for our prime? For our prime, that will be 4 square root of 3. So, 4 square root of 3 all over 9. A. That is for a D, R prime. Now, for R double prime, that would be 1 half A. Second raised to 4. Then, theta over 2. That is 1 half pi over 3 plus a second squared 1 half pi over 3 tangent of 1 half pi over 3 so again using your calculator what will be the value for second pi over 6 raised to 4 plus oh divided by 2 then plus second pi over 6 squared multiplied to tangent pi over 6. So that's the value for r double prime. There's a lot of them. There's a lot. So this is 4 third. So finally check if that is correct in your calculator so let's now substitute to the value of uh, r the value of r r prime and r double prime in the formula so again the formula so let's just repeat the formula for r here is equal to r squared <coughs> plus r prime squared raised to 3 halves all over <coughs> r squared plus 2 times r prime squared minus r times r double prime so the value for r is equal to 4 third 4 third a squared plus r prime is 4 square root of 3 over 9 a squared all of them raised to the power of 3 halves over r 
is uh, 43 e squared plus 2 times 4 square root of 3 over 9 <coughs> a squared minus the r 4 third e then r double prime 4 third e so just as i have uh, given us a um, a tip in using your calculator so you will input 4 third raised to 2 plus 4 square root of 3 over 9 raised to 2 then all of them raised to 3 halves then in the denominator we will put 4 third raised to 2 plus 2 multiplied with the square of 4 square root of 3 over 9 minus 4 third times 4 third so what will you get in your calculator? Check if it is 16 over 9 square root of 3 A. Don't forget the A here because we have A in the whole equation. So this is my R. So check if that is also what you will get in your calculator. So that is the sample, example number 2. Okay, so that is, for, that is all for this video.